Originally, I was born in Memphis, Tennessee on a military base, and we moved around quite a bit when I was younger. Um, and uh, I remember even moving to Cuba for a short bit right before uh, we came home there. And, and so uh, I do remember living in Rhode Island, but my dad retired fairly, you know, early on in my life. And he lived all over the world and he just loved the Mississippi coast. He had lived there a couple of times, uh, stationed in Gulfport. And uh, so he moved uh, our family to Long Beach, Mississippi. I became a full-time student and a full-time worker. Didn't have children at the, at the time, thank goodness. And was able to get my master's pretty quickly. And it was a very long time before I got my PhD. I just, you know, enjoyed what I was doing at Gulf Coast. And then finally, I think a couple of the administrators, you know, Dr. Graham being one of them said, hey, you can make much more of a difference if you'll step up and get your PhD and, and, and you know, move up. So uh, I was inspired to do that. And so I got my PhD pretty quickly. And, so a student once asked me recently what my most important experience, and I think it was this year when my son got offered membership in the Phi Theta Kappa, that was probably one of the proudest moments I had. And it's so nice to see one of my children kind of uh, moving through their college experience in the way that I wanted them to. Um, but my kids are so important to me. Um, I have one here in Jackson and the other one's at Mississippi Gulf Coast. And <laughs> He's so cute. And, you know, they're just really great. I think the community college faculty, out of all the roles I've had in my entire life as far as impact to students, and 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 being the CEO of Phi Theta Kappa and getting to create these wonderful plans for students, it's been impactful, but I think the role of the community college faculty member has never been more important. And out of all the roles that I had, I felt more impactful as a faculty member as I, as I really do now, as far as on students um, directly. So I think that, um, that we talk about that 21st century learner and we don't talk as much about the 21st century faculty member and there's so many skills that they have to have. Now it's teaching online and teaching in a pandemic and all these skills that they don't learn in college and I think that, um, that I really want to say hats off to uh, community college faculty everywhere, not just at Mississippi Gulf Coast, because you are literally the, the heartbeat of any kind of change we would want to build. Even if PTK goes in and make a change, the faculty have to execute on that. I always wanted to get better. I remember uh, my brother's a couple years older than me, but I was always much more stronger than he was. And, I remember my mom saying, and I believe this because I remember doing it, but he would, I would wait at the, uh, at the window, he would get off the school bus and he would go inside and I would literally hold him down because I was stronger than he was until he told me everything he learned that day. And then I would get off of him. And that was every day my parents allowed this behavior. And I think what, what people don't understand what I'm constantly doing when I interact with you or anybody else, I'm just learning. Even from that interaction, I'm learning, 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 and putting all those bits of data together to, to um, you know, just learn. So I think this whole idea of just learning something new, you know, um, I think once I had taught all the courses from calculus to, you know, developmental math, I was, you know, ready to move on to something else. And moving into the computer field, there was so much to learn, and there still is. And that was just a really great spot for me to kind of really blossom as far as what I was able to learn. And then, um, you know, so you can kind of see as I move through my career, that whole idea of learning.